Now let's look at、uh, network topology. Actually, topology is a very, very important concept in network. When you look at a network, first you need to know、uh, what's its structure. So the network topology actually refers to the structure of a network, how they are connected with each other, what kind of graph does it form, and typical network. Topologies include, for example, the star network topology. There is a central node, and all the other nodes directly connected to the central node. That is the star network topology. Or we can have this bus network topology. There is no central node, but there is a bus, and all the end devices are connected to this bus. But in this bus topology, there is one disadvantage. If two devices are communicate, then the bus are occupied, and then other nodes cannot communicate using simultaneously using this bus. Or we can have this ring network. So the nodes connected with each other and finally to form a ring. In ring network, the reliability is not very good. So if one link Is corrupted, then they need to use a lot of hubs to communicate with each other. And if there are two links corrupted, then the total network. And also we will have this tree topology. So for tree topology, there will be the roof route, roof node, and then some parents nodes, and then the leaf nodes. So for tree topology, actually that is very structured. But the reliability is also not good. So, for example, if this link is disconnected, then the node cannot transmit any information to these nodes any longer.、Uh, the most robust or reliable network topology is the full mesh network. So you can see that in full mesh network, any two node will have an edge, will have a link to connect. Between each other, so you can see that if one link is corrupted, then the node can still communicate through other links, right? So in this mesh network, the robustness is very good, but the cost is that you have too many links. So people think of that. Maybe we don't need to use this full mesh network. We only have this partial mesh. For some important node, we have the links between each other. But for some other nodes, maybe they don't have a direct link between each other. And typically in the real world, some network is composed of the combined network topology. So, for example, here it looks like some tree topology. But actually, they also have some mesh links between nodes.